Slippery grip is the bane of all pole dancers, but what if there is a way to magically transform your pole into something much easier to hold on to? I follow Netta, aka Hijabi Luscious, on Instagram, and first, she's hilarious, and second, she wears a full set of clothing while pole dancing, so she has to make some adaptations in the pole studio in order to stick onto the apparatus. She does this by employing a pole wrap, which is a length of grippy material that can be wrapped around a pole, essentially converting it into a temporary silicone pole. I went creeping in her comments and found that she ordered hers from Ariel Essentials, so I did too. So here's the chunky little package, which says right on it, do not use blades to open. So naturally I grabbed my kitchen scissors to uh, carefully <laughs> slice through the tape. I struggled with the packaging for a while, but finally freed the product itself, which came with a cute sticker and a sheet telling me about Ariel Essentials, but no instructions. But really, how hard could this be? At first it was like, okay, here's some material, and <laughs> I wasn't sure which side to put against the pole or whether to start from the top or the bottom. I did have it set to static so the material wouldn't get twisted, but I actually don't think that did me any good. Simply roll the wrap onto your pole with a slight overlap. Trying it again after reading the product description. I even googled it, but of course the hits were related to PVC pipe or something about basement installations. I finally got the bottom part firmly in place and began making myself sick by walking around and around and around the pole with the wrap. So having it on static did me no good because I had to physically move instead of letting the pole do the heavy lifting while it turned itself. <laughs> oh well. I would say I did a pretty bad job. <laughs> Big old lumps. It's fine, just, it's fine. All right though, it's wrapped perfectly. Yeah, it was a bad job, but I just wanted to try it, even though you can see that right here where I wanted to grab was right where the wrap ended, so I kept undoing it. My first instinct was to go for some split grips, which would be easy with enough practice, but are so slippery that it's hard to practice them at all. Why is that literally the only thing I can think of? Uh. <laughs> Static pole, a bad wrap, and not wanting to burn my bare skin really limited my options for things to try. Even silicone isn't enough for my sweaty feet. You reached the limit of my imagination. I decided to rewrap the pole higher up. Seems to me you lived your life like a candle in the wind. This way I could access the base and therefore switch it to spin, and also I wouldn't be grabbing the end at the top and knocking it loose every time. Now I can tell you some stats. I ordered the large size wrap, which is 6 inches wide by 14 feet long, to cover approximately 9 to 10 feet of a 45 millimeter pole. It was $60 and can theoretically be used and reused as many times as I want, as long as I keep it clean by wiping it with some alcohol or water. I did just put a piece of scotch tape there at the bottom to hold it closed. Nice, wow. And this time the bottom's free, so we can turn it to spin. With the improvements complete, it was time to spin. Okay. Yeah, I see the appeal. Look at me go! like I can spin forever. As a break from the merry-go-round, I wanted to see how easy a climb would be, but of course placed my bare hairy legs against the pole in the process. But wait, now I'm up here. Ugh. <coughs> you get a little more covered up and then try something. Now that I look extremely cool and sexy, let's try a teddy. As Netta said, make sure you're wearing clothes, otherwise the silicone pole can burn you. That's why I put on this long sleeve top, and if I was going for more tricks, I'd put on pants too. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if this helps our little flag here. So yes, it helps the flag to be able to hold on. <laughs> and before you comment about my whack arm placement, yes, I know, but I'm usually not able to hold on for long enough to even examine my form. And this was like, so long for me to hold a flag. <laughs> 
Here on the other side, I gave up much sooner, not for once because I slipped, but because my muscles were actually tired from holding the previous flag for so long. This makes me wanna freaking do an iron X, which I don't wanna do. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get me. <laughs> Could you imagine? I thought I would try an air walk with this increased grip, but. See that? My sweaty hands are slipping on silicone. Okay, really, for some reason with a silicone wrap on, I can't do my usual air walk. Maybe it's because the overlap of the material fell right where I wanted to put my hand, or maybe like the flag, I'm really engaging the wrong muscles on the regular pole because I'm trying to fight the slip instead of getting the right form. Wait, what? I was also tired from holding those flags for such a long time, you know? <laughs> no, 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 I can do one, I can do one. Let me bust it out, baby. No babies were busted in the making of these airwalks. I don't even know why I tried a front spin, or whatever this is. <laughs> that could have been very unpleasant. Here you see me thinking I'm done and walking away like a regular outro, and then coming right back because I was not done at playing around. <laughs> it's kind of addictive. I went for an inversion out of curiosity, and just look at that thing. Chef's kiss. <sighs> I knew it wasn't my strength, it's just my gosh darn grip. Yeah, that's some big talk there, trying to blame my inversions on grip struggles alone. Nah man, it's also the strength. <laughs> Just for shits and gigs, I tried a crucifix to see how much it would hurt putting my bare thighs against the pole, which don't do. Yeah, that feels bad. To wrap up, <laughs> I went for one last air walk, which didn't happen, but that's how things go sometimes. This was so much fun to play with, and I'm sure you'll see the pole wrap again in future videos. Bye!